Hello, hello, hello. So, it's been a little while since I did a review. Um, I think you guys all remember the last review I did was on the Pavono 35 or PS305. And I gave this thing a absolutely horrible review. Let me turn the light on. Alright, so here you go. This is all that's left of this thing. I had this uh, power supply for about three days, and I charged about 40 batteries, and now it don't output jack, and uh, Pavono didn't really want to help me, so fuck him, I guess. So, this is not, um, I, I didn't, I purchased this with my own money, um, I had some, like, points on my Amazon card, so I went ahead and bought this with it. This is an Eventech KPS 305DF. It does 30 volts, 10 amps, 300 watts. It did say on Amazon that it was like 10.2 and 32 or something, but it comes in a pretty nice box. It's a good, good looking device. So let's do this little unboxing for you. Now, as you can see, it is a little bit bigger. If you can see that, sorry, I gotta kind of have the camera in a weird spot today so you guys can get this. But anyways, as you can see, the PS3005 was a little bit smaller, a little bit shorter. But this thing does twice the amps. More power, more red, more better, I guess. Let's see. I'm gonna be buying a um, oscilloscope here pretty soon too because I'd like to start testing some mods for vaping. Oh, it's my favorite part. Now, I actually have... So there's the Pavono wire that it came with. I think I'm saying that right, but at this point I don't even care because I'm so sick and tired of looking at this thing. I've had it sitting on the healing bench over there for a little bit, hoping that it was all going to get figured out. Now, the Pavono came with uh, banana plugs, which is pretty nice. Uh, this one here actually came with two. I'm not really sure why. This one actually came with two... Um, alligator clips with the little stupid C connectors on them. A little bit longer though, so definitely nicer than the one that the Pavono come with. Sorry if you can't see that. I'll kind of hold them together here. So, Pavono is definitely shorter. Um, as far as the wire goes, it looks the same. Same, same gauge, maybe. This is definitely stiffer. Um, just trying to see if there's any difference in the actual. Uh, well, anyways, I'll just I'm just gonna use the Pavono one to test this, just because it's got the banana plugs on it already, and I should be able to jam them in here. All right. So let me. Get let me get my um can you guys see that? I'm not really sure if you can get both of them, but I'm gonna try here. Go ahead and set that on DC. 
Yeah, it looks like you guys can see that just fine. And can you see the front? So let's go ahead and turn it on. Okay, so I'm showing 32.1819 volts there, I guess. Go ahead and stick it on the... I'd say that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. 32.3 and I'm showing 32.2 on the display here. So it's definitely doing a lot better than even the Pavono did. Um, I don't want to like bash those guys or trash them, but it kind of pisses me off when they... I re they reached out to me on Reddit and said, you know, we'll send you this this new power supply and if you want to do a review on it then you know we'll give it to you for like 90 percent off basically but the thing was a piece of shit from the day i got it um like i said i was able to charge about 20 30 um 18 650s without a problem um and then all of a sudden it just died so let me get another because i don't I don't know if you guys trust the Anova, but I got a couple other um, couple other uh, things here. Get this one hooked up quick. Alright, what do we got here? So, 32.2, 32.21, that's Aries actually pretty good. We'll go ahead and even test it with this guy. So far, I'm kind of impressed actually at the how well that's working. Alright. Go ahead and stick this in here. Like I said, I want to do a bunch of mod tests and uh, reviews on some mods because I do vape. Um, I know before I used to post a bunch of reviews and um, people seem to enjoy those a little bit, so cool. So we got 32.3 on the Innova, which I'm already going to guess that that's probably off. Looks like we got about 30... 30 volts on this guy, but this is cheap. We're going to go ahead with the Sperry and say that it's pretty damn good. I bumped it. Sorry, guys. So all in all, I am thoroughly or impressed with this thing. It's a good-looking de device. It's got a nice-looking display on it, nice and clear. Um, so like I said, I'm going to be getting an oscilloscope here pretty soon. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to get yet, but... Uh, um, for now, I'd say, I know, I said before that the, um, the Pino, or Pavono was a good device, and it was for a couple days, but I'm going to say that if you're looking to buy any type of uh, bench power supply to stay away from the Pavono, because they didn't support the product, they didn't help me at all, they basically told me to go out and buy parts to fix it myself, and I think that's just bullshit, because I only had it for a couple days, but... If you guys are asking me, I'd say that the Eventech um, DC power supply is pretty good. The user's guide is really nice. Just kind of looking through here a little bit. I don't really see any Chinglish. Okay, let's see what see if we can send it uh hook these real quick. Hopefully I don't blow it up, but let's see. First of all I'll turn the voltage down a little bit. And I'll actually test it again turning it down so the um, these other guys can do it. I'm gonna go ahead and short this out. 
boy, that's that puts out some power. 0.99 volts. All right, so. We can limit the amps here. Short this out. That gets a little warm. <laughs> I'd say it's definitely a quality device, though. I mean, it looks a hundred times better than the uh, other one. I'm going to take the Innova. Actually, I'll leave them all up here. And let me grab a lead or two. kind of band all these guys together. So let's go here. Go here. Go here. First of all I'll set these guys over. I take all the reds. I just wanted to get a video out there guys because I do really want to do these videos um, I've been we've had a lot of company at the house and sometimes I just don't feel like doing the videos so hopefully if things get a little better I'll release more videos more often because I really like messing with stuff so If you guys have any questions um, on this Eventech, I'd be more than happy to answer them. Um, like I said I'll do any tests you guys want or figure it out, but I really enjoy uh, reviewing stuff and if you guys like watching it, like, share, and subscribe, I guess. So we got it at 6.6 .6 volts here. 6.5, 6.6, so we got 6.5, I must have a dirty connection here, This Sperry thing always gets a little weird on me. I don't know what the hell it is with it. Let's see if I can trace this wire here real quick. Must be the red side. There we go. So we got 6.59 on the um, <clears throat> bench power supply. We got I got a bad connection over here, guys. Sorry. We got six point fuck. Oh. Okay, so 6.62. We got 6.60, 6.59. Guys, I, I I this is so much better than my other one. The We'll see how it goes. I'll use it over the next few days, and if I have any problems with it, I'll post another video. Uh, feel free to ask any questions. Um, have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching.